Hello, in this short video, I'll be talking about how I created this animation here uh, using just Blender. One thing to know is that I'll be using an add on called RBD Labs, which costs money and it's used for this last scene here for the destruction section. So, to start off, I'll create this plain thing for the background um, uh, and then texture to using just white. Um, I then decided to add some simple shapes such as uh, cubes and spheres. To create this texture, uh, here is a screenshot of the shader. If you want to copy it, just pause the video and just copy it. So this is a pretty good texture for like cement or concrete sort of thing. It's also good for planets um, if you want to do that. So here I'm just adding some textures, uh, adding some more subdivisions for the sphere to make sure there's no like um, rigged sections on the sides. For the particle sim, it's pretty simple. It's just like this spherical cylinder shape where there's like particles emitting from it. Um, you have to make sure to add collision for the cubes and the ground to um, so the particles don't go through them. I also decided to add some IV. Um, I basically use an IV generator which I downloaded for free. Um, it's somewhere in the internet you can get. To create these rocks, um, it's actually pretty simple. It comes with Blender. So here's a video where you just um, go and mesh uh, and then click the rock generator. Some key things to know is to increase the detail level and the roughness values uh, to the same values as seen in the video. This is to ensure that the um, quality of the rock is pretty, pretty good. And that's pretty much what I used um, for the rocks in my animation here. So once I got some rocks, I decided to put them on into the scene. Um, once you have this high detail, um, it's quite a lot of faces, so I decided to decimate it, and it still like leaves a pretty good quality. So here I'm using that add-on that I mentioned at the start of the video. So it's a very good add-on, highly recommending it. Um, I used very simple, um, see the uh, simple options here for this uh, animation. So you can go even more high quality stuff if um, if only I had a good PC. So here I decided to basically um, not having any collision impact or anything like that. It's just a turbulence, um, force field turbulence affecting all the rigid bodies from the sphere. So that's pretty good. I basically just keyframed it um, and it making this very nice looking animation. Um, I decided to experiment with smoke. I then decided to remove the smoke because it just made the scene look more complicated without any reason. So here I am messing around with the forces again. So I to create this like particle force uh, difference. I there's basically two different turbulences working for it, which uh, change the strength depending on the keyframe. And then that's pretty much it. Um, if you like the video, uh, please subscribe and like the video. Um, thank you very much.